Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I have a humongous grocery haul. Now typically I try to stick with one store at a time, but today I actually went to Costco, Kroger, and Walmart to pick up a few things because I was lacking a few staples. I'm going to go quickly through this haul so it won't be a long drawn out video. So first up in our produce section, I got some carrot chips to go with our dips. And I know you guys said you wanted to see some videos on the meals that I make. So I'm going to try to do that later in the week. Whenever the colored peppers go on sale, I stock up. So they were 99 cents this week at Kroger. So I got a few bags of colored peppers. And again, the colored peppers are for stuffed peppers and our dips. Got a big bag of Roma tomatoes for our salads and guacamole. A large pack of romaine lettuce for salads. A bag of avocados for guacamole and avocado toast. Some grapes. Spinach for smoothies. And also I'm making a spinach, creamy spinach Tuscan uh, shrimp dish. A bag of apples. I love to do apples and almond butter as a snack. A bag of cucumbers for our salads bag of uh, white onions. I have to improvise because all of the red onions look bad at Kroger. Head of broccoli. Reagan uses this as a snack to dip in her ranch dip. Some zucchini so I can make zoodles with my spiralizer and we use that in place of spaghetti. Bananas for our smoothies and also my husband likes to just eat bananas plain. And we typically, once they get really ripe, we'll freeze the bananas so then we can just pre-make all of our uh, smoothies, put everything together. And all we have to do is just throw it in the blender. That was it for all of the fresh produce and we will eat all of that within the week. Now here is our frozen produce. I have some wild blueberries. This is a large uh, pack from Costco. And then I also have the large pack of strawberries from Costco. And this is for our smoothies. And this will last for more than a week. I picked up the two dozen eggs, the organic eggs from Costco. Sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. It's like a tornado watch out here and it has been pouring down rain. I got the 48 pack of mozzarella string cheese for raised lunches. I've tried to limit myself on how many of these we purchased from Costco. We love these as a family, but they're not necessarily that healthy. So I just picked up one package this go round. It's the spicy beef patties. Whew, all of us love these. This will be the first time I'm trying these. They are called Food Should Taste Good Multigrain Tortilla Chips. My sister recommended these, so I'll use these for our guacamole and some of our other dips. And this came from Costco. So I have some almond butter and I found that Costco has the best price on almond butter. It's always better than my grocery store price. Love this with my apples. I got a large jar of sun-dried tomatoes and I'm going to divide these up into small sections in an ice cube tray and freeze them because we won't be able to eat the you know entire jar once we open them but we use these for a lot of different uh, dishes. Family standard, the feta cheese, and this is for our salads. I was not a huge turkey bacon fan. I love real bacon, but this bacon here, this Columbus uncured turkey bacon at Costco is absolutely delicious. This is my absolute favorite turkey bacon, and I could almost say that I can eat, you know, swap out either or this for regular bacon. Love, love, love this stuff. So if you haven't tried it, try this Columbus brand turkey bacon. It is so good. There was such a great deal on these at Costco, the Cars um, Table Water Crackers. They come six in a pack. You get the original, three original, two pepper, and one sesame seed. So I picked up two packages of these, so for a total of 12. I love these for entertaining, and I also just love them for myself. I love to put together a um, cheese tray for myself and just kind of spend some alone time and read a book and I think I did a video for you guys where I have like a date night for myself and um, that's what I use these for so these will last for a good while. This entire pack was $5.79 in my grocery store one pack of these cars can go for $3.99. I got a large bag of pecans. Now do you say pecans or pecans? Leave a comment below. Um, 
I've got a large bag of these. I eat these in everything with my cheese platters and also in my oatmeal. I love, love, love pecans. So needed to restock up on those. And these last me for about four to six months depending on what I'm eating. I got five packages of the uh, lean ground turkey and this is for chili and our stuffed peppers. We're going to make some honey garlic steak bites with these and we're also probably going to slice a few of these down for some fajitas. I love these trash bags and I finally ran out of my first pack. I remember like about six so seven months ago, I was looking for an alternative to buying the hefty large black bags because they were so expensive and I didn't know if these were going to hold up, but they absolutely did. So I'm buying this now for the second time. There are 90 bags and it lasted a little over six months. As many of you know, I have an alternative trash can. I actually use a laundry basket as a trash can and I need large black uh, lawn bags to fill it. I needed another water filter. I thought I had another one at home because I bought a two pack, but I guess my husband changed it out and I didn't know. I hate having to buy the brand name one because they are so expensive. These are $49.99 each and I think you can get the um, non-brand name for like 20 bucks each. I needed some light bulbs for our kitchen light and the dining room. I picked up some body wash. So this is what our family now uses to wash. As you know, I have very sensitive skin and I found this to be really, really good. So we've been using this for maybe seven or eight months now and I absolutely love it. And it's hard to kind of find. I get mine from Walmart. These can be a little pricey. They're about eight bucks each in Walmart and they go up to maybe about $11 each depending on where you pick them up. And each person will get their own bottle and a bottle of this will last me about um, two months so um, I won't have to purchase these again until another couple of months. I picked up a large package of the flushable wipes and these will last for a long time, several months because we use these in conjunction. We do a dry wipe when we do a number two and then we finish it off with a wet wipe. I got a big box of the disinfecting wipes and I use these in the bathroom. And here's a quick hack. If you leave these on your sink in the morning, if you take one and just wipe over your counter, that's a quick way to keep your bathroom clean and not have to do a whole bunch of cleaning on the weekend or at or once you get home. I picked up another 50 pack hanger and this is from Costco and you get 50 uh, hangers for $12.99. I thought that's a great deal. Okay, here are the items for our chili. Um, I've got a couple of packs of chili seasoning, a few cans of Rotel, some black beans and some red beans, some diced tomatoes, some cheese and sour cream. My husband loves olives. Greek yogurt for the uh, Tuscan shrimp and our dips. My husband likes this Olive Garden light uh, salad dressing so he puts that on his salads. And I picked up this Kraft uh, Classic Ranch for Ray. I have this other uh, ranch that's made from a yogurt base. It's a lot less calories, much healthier. I'm the only one that seems to like it. Ray can't stand it. So I go ahead and get her this since she's actually, you know, eating a salad, eating more healthy foods. And just to have this mm, not so good ranch sauce. I have to pick my battles. I love this Panera uh, poppy seed dressing and this has very minimal calories and very uh, low carbs. It's just 25 calories per serving and I like to have salad dressing on every single bite of my food so I actually double up and do two servings of this but it again it only ends up being 50 calories for two servings and I just kind of shake my salad up in a bowl and I have a dressing on every bite. Some Parmesan cheese for our Tuscan shrimp. Here I just bought a rotisserie chicken. Normally I just buy a big pack of breast and put those in the uh, crock pot but I was too tired to do that today. I use this breast. I just kind of shred this up and make our buffalo chicken dip so that we can dip it as a snack throughout the week. 
just a regular block of cheese. Reagan will take this with some crackers in her lunch. My husband and the girls love this, um, you know, sparkling uh, water, sparkling water beverage. Honestly, to me, it's just kind of like diet soda. And it has zero calories, but it is, you know, uh, flavored with some sweetener. It says naturally flavored, but it doesn't say like uh, stevia or anything on the back. So I don't know what it's flavored with. But it does taste, uh, you know, pretty good. But I just try to stay away from it. But they drink the peach and the white grape. That's what they love. I've got a package of bottled water. And then here's my treat. Instead of the uh, sparkling uh, flavored beverages that they drink, this is what I drink. I bought a couple of packs of pads because I needed to get the six for six so I could get the coupon uh, discounts. And these were uh, the only ones that were left on sale. And I bought a big jar of dill pickles. Everyone in the family loves dill pickles. A large package of paper towels and a large package of tissues. So you're probably wondering, Carrie, what was your grand total? Well, here it goes. I spent $213 at Costco, $173 at Kroger. I spent $53 at Home Depot for the water filter. And I spent $34 at Walmart for the body wash. And that leaves me with a whopping total of $473. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out my previous video where I did a um, how to dress well on any budget, dupes versus fakes. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.